Hi, this is Beverly Lyons from the Daily Record here with Stephen Purton, who is about <laughs> to uh, try out the stilts for his brand new performance in Panto. What, what what character do you play? Uh, I'm playing the Scarecrow. The scarecrow, right. Go on, show us what you can do, because this is like day one of uh, practice. <laughs> is that it? it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we... <laughs> Right, there we go. Well done. Right, thanks. <laughs> right, excellent. Right, okay, we'll get back down to earth and throw these away for just now. So is this the first time then that you've uh, done the whole stilt thing? It is, uh, yeah. No, you don't say. <laughs> and, no. and how are we feeling about this? We're feeling very sweaty about it and very can do it, do you know what I mean? But yeah. we'll get there eventually. Are you scared? Aye, a wee bit, but it'll be all right, it'll be fine. And, and how's your insurance policy? Ah, it's very solid. <laughs> it's going to have to be. <laughs> right, this is a panto at the pavilion. I almost, uh, this is quite a naughty question to ask, mm. but obviously Jeanette Cranky was involved in a bit of an accident. Mm. And we can laugh now because we know she's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a number of years ago in panto. Any fears about that with the old stilts? Uh, well, I've not really thought about it until you just mentioned it. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be fine and there won't be any of that. Yeah. stuff happening. Please God, I know we're joking about it just now, <laughs> but obviously that would be I, the worst thing that, that could Very happen. good, no, because I've, I would hurt myself quite badly, I think, because yeah. they're quite high the stilts. <laughs> I think so. Is this the most daredevil thing that you've done before? Uh, well, work-wise work it is probably, I. but I've done a few things in the past, but this will be quite challenging. But yeah, what, what have you done? Okay, work-wise, this is work the most daredevil thing, but let's <laughs> let's have a little insight into your I life, really Stephen. I don't remember what else I've done, but I just... <laughs> I don't think I should go into that kind of stuff to do, but uh, I've done a few things in the past that have been pretty daredevil-ish, but... Nah. But no, nothing in roles, nothing in River City, is no, it's Shell Suit Bob? in the Clyde in River City, so that was quite daredevil. Now that is, because that takes about 10 seconds before you can get killed. Aye, well it was quite... Or even less actually, <laughs> I would say. I thought I was dead when I was in the eye, but it was quite horrible and that was pretty... That was a bit more intense than this, I think, but that was dodgy. Very dirty and cold and no nice at all. So you've obviously got this streak in you that wants to just push the boundary. <laughs> Either that or I'm just daft, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, I enjoy doing stuff like that can... I don't know, test yourself and you get a buzz for doing it, so it's always good fun doing stuff like this. Would you go on one of those um, extreme sport things, like with Jack Osborne? Aye, I'd be up for it. I'd be up for stuff like that. Aye, that'd be good. Aye, you saw what happened to that guy Jody from Shameless. He absolutely, that, aye, you know, <laughs> but yeah, he wasn't able to do it. Let's put it politely. Aye, but I'd be up for stuff like that. Aye, it's, uh, I don't know. You only live once, don't you? All that kind of stuff. So you just enjoy life and have a laugh. Yeah, okay, so so you're up for that. Now, um, I believe the suit that you're wearing is £2,000. Is that the most expensive outfit you've ever worn? I think so, aye, because I don't think my girlfriend would let me buy anything any dearer than that, do you know what I mean? What about those shell suits? They must be worth a fear, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that, Bob? No Nola? pun intended there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know about the shell suits. I don't really get any glamorous shell suits anymore, do you know what I mean? But I think in the day they were pretty pricey, aye. Yeah, the pr Kappa one especially. But, but not too grand. No, no too grand, no, definitely so, not. So you've got to treat this with care, and obviously it's smelling very nicely just now because it's the first time you've had it on, <laughs> but I'm sure given... I mean, how long is the panto running for? From the 3rd of December to, I think it's the 24th of January. And that's at Glasgow Pavilion? That's at Glasgow Pavilion. And it's called? The Wizard of Never Was. The Wizard of Never Was, so it's a bit of a take on The Wizard of yeah, Oz. it's got kind of Glaswegian stuff in it, and it's kind of... It's just the pavilion's take on it, and it's kind of got a lot of Glaswegian banter in it. It's not quite The Wizard of Oz, but... It's similar to it. Right, and your character of the Scarecrow, it's mm -hmm. not, what's your actual name? Uh, straw Suit Bob. Straw Suit Bob, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and, and what does Straw Suit Bob, um, is he scared of something? Is it, what about the Scarecrow in Wizard of Oz? I think he's scared of fire and all that kind of stuff, stuff like that, but I've not really read the script yet, so I've got a first read through tomorrow, so I'll find out what Straw Suit Bob's really scared of. And I know what I'm scared of the stilts. But right. That's it. That, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that's that's enough. And uh, what about all the groupies that you're getting in Panto? I believe that there were quite a few when you did it before. Aye, there was a few people like for at the stage throwing that after, but it's not just off for me. It's for other people in the cast as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's just a lot of kids and that enjoying the panto. You've done panto for a few years now. When uh, did I you start? This is my third panto. The one I done was about. The first one I done was about four four years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Jack and the Beanstalk, then two years after that, done Peter Pan, but I couldn't do it last year because I was working, so this is my third. Who would you like to be your leading lady? Leading lady? Eva Mendes. 
<laughs> See if we can get her at the Glasgow Pavilion. You never know. <laughs> Definitely, I. Eva Mendes, yeah. right? Okay, and uh, more realistically, in, <laughs> in Scottish parts. Eh, uh, oh, we've got Joyce Falk. No, she's in it. She's. She's, she's a great she's leading great. lady. And Cat Harvey, so they two are great. Oh, that's, they're fantastic. Enough, yep. Both good, good Both fun. Good fun, very good and, fun. And what's been the strangest thing that's happened in Panto? The strangest thing that's happened? Uh, well, the first one I was doing was Jack and the Beanstalk, and my character had to kind of turn into Ozzy Osbourne, but it was like, I think it was one of my first nights doing it. So I went off, it was a very quick costume change, but I've skipped the Ozzy costume and put on another costume. and stage manager came out and was screaming where's Ozzy and I'm sitting there with a totally different costume on Nightmare. Ryan Fletcher you know Ryan he was on stage shouting Ozzy and so was John Murta and I just forgot to put my it's costume not like on you can shout cut <laughs> no, so I, just, I just kind of sat in the stairs in the pavilion and just thought oh, oh well did missed it and that was quite I was just, uh, really crap myself do you know what I mean did you used to get scared when you went to the panto when the baddie came on aye a wee bit aye because yeah. my mum would always wing me up and I was quite Prone to getting wound up with my mum, do you know what I mean? So, still the same to this day, but I used to get quite scared and she would wind me up, but that's all part of the fun. Have you it? ever burst into tears? No, 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 no definitely. No, I'm just looking for that wee soft <laughs> side of, of Bob. Now, now listen, the, the other thing is River City, they say that the, the format has changed slightly in recent weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can comment on this or not, but what do you think about the situation? They say that you're, you've not got quite as many scenes in the new format. Is that rubbish? Aye, because I've been, I know I've read a few things about this, but me and Gordon McCorkle at Place Deep, we've been in work non-stop. It's just the first couple of episodes we've not been in since, but we've been working quite a lot. So I've still, I'm still getting a lot of scenes and just, it's kind of the same for myself. I'm still in there working a lot and still enjoying it. So nothing really drastic's changed, you know what I mean? There's a few changes of personnel, but nothing major. And what would you say about anybody who's criticising the new look, River City? It's like everything else. Uh, the old saying nobody likes change so it's, it's obviously it's changed a little bit the way it looks and it's now another long drama thing you know what I mean? so you kind of just need to give things time I mean it was the same in the very first day in day one back in whatever 2002 2003 and nobody really liked it and it was built up so much but I think get yeah, another few weeks and it should be back it'll be fine just need to give things time okay trust the Bob he trust knows, Bob. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> listen it's been a pleasure talking to you thanks very much no all right best of luck in the panto thanks very much cheers thanks bye. Bye.